Good morning. I'm Jim Shudo in New York. And I'm Poppy Harlow. We're so glad you're with us this Monday morning. And we do begin with a really significant CNN exclusive. And Jim, this is your reporting. You have learned about a highly secretive intelligence operation by the United States. That, that's right, Poppy. Uh, multiple Trump administration officials with direct knowledge tell me that in a previously undisclosed secret mission in 2017, the U.S. successfully extracted from Russia one of its highest level covert sources inside the Russian government. Knowledge of the Russian covert source's existence was highly restricted within the U.S. government. According to one source, there was, quote, no equal alternative inside the Russian government, providing both insight and information on Putin. A person directly involved in the discussion said that the removal of the Russian was driven in part by concerns that President Trump and his administration repeatedly mishandled classified intelligence and could contribute to exposing the covert source as a spy. The decision to carry out the extraction occurred soon after a May 2017 meeting in the Oval Office in which Trump discussed highly classified intelligence with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and then Russian Ambassador to the U.S. Sergei Kislyak. The intelligence concerning ISIS in Syria had been provided by Israel. The disclosure to the Russians by the president, though not about the Russian spies specifically, prompted intelligence officials to renew discussions about the potential risk of exposure, according to the source directly involved in the matter. At the time, then-CIA Director Mike Pompeo told other senior Trump administration officials that too much information was coming out regarding the asset. This is incredibly significant and great reporting, important reporting. I know you worked for a long time on this. This is not the first time that they were concerned about this asset. No, and this background is important. At the end of the Obama administration, U.S. intelligence officials had already expressed concerns about the safety of this spy and other Russian assets, given the length of their cooperation with the U.S., this according to a former senior intelligence official. Those concerns grew in early 2017 after the U.S. intelligence community released its public report on Russian meddling in the 2016 election, which said that Putin himself ordered the operation. The intelligence community also shared a classified version of the report with the incoming Trump administration, and it included highly protected details on the sources behind that intelligence. Senior U.S. intelligence officials considered extracting at least one Russian asset at the time, but did not do so, according to the former senior intelligence official. Then the meeting with the Russians happened in the Oval Office. That raised new talks and new concerns in the intel community, continuing to grow in the period after Trump's Oval Office meeting with Kislyak and Lavrov. Weeks after that decision to extract the covert source, the president met privately with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit in Hamburg. You may recall that at the meeting, he took the unusual step of confiscating the interpreter's notes. Afterwards, intelligence officials again expressed concern that the president may have improperly discussed classified intelligence with Russia, according to an intelligence source with knowledge of the intelligence community's response to that Trump-Putin meeting. So the administration, Jim, what, what is the administration's response to all this? Okay, we've we reached out to a number of officials in the administration uh, as well as the CIA. A U.S. official said that before the secret operation, there was media speculation about the existence of such a covert source. And such coverage or public speculation poses risks to the safety of anyone that a foreign government suspects may be involved. However, this official did not identify any public reporting to that effect at the time of this decision, and CNN itself could not find any related reference in media. As for comment, Brittany Bramble, the CIA Director of Public Affairs, told CNN, and I'm quoting, CNN's narrative that the Central Intelligence Agency makes life or death decisions based on anything other than objective analysis and sound collection is simply false. Misguided speculation that the president's handling of our nation's most sensitive intelligence, which he has access to each and every day, drove an alleged exfiltration operation is inaccurate. A spokesperson for Secretary of State Mike Pompeo declined to comment. White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham told me the following quote, CNN's reporting is not only incorrect, it has the potential to put lives in danger. However, we should note this. This removal happened at a time of wide concern in the intelligence community about mishandling of intelligence by Trump and his administration. Those concerns were described to CNN by five sources who served in the Trump administration, intelligence agencies, and Congress. I should also note that CNN is withholding several details about this spy to reduce the risk of the person's identification. 
When it comes to the big picture here and the importance of reporting out something like this as you have for, for weeks on end now, what is the cost to the United States losing an asset like this inside of Russia? It, it, it's significant. It, it has left the U.S. with one of its key sources on the inner workings of the Kremlin and the plans of thinking of the Russian president, this at a time when tensions between the two nations have been growing. The U.S. intelligence community considers Russia one of the two greatest threats to U.S. national security, along with China. A former senior intelligence official tells me, quote, the impact would be huge because it is so hard to develop sources like that in any denied area, particularly Russia, because the surveillance and security there is so stringent. And adding, you can't reacquire a capability like that overnight. Mm. Now, joining me now to discuss this is CIA intelligence, CNN intelligence and security analyst Robert Baer. He's a former CIA operative. Uh, Bob, thanks so much. You have enormous experience uh, handling the nation's most classified intelligence and also, you know, the weight of covert, covert assets or sources like this in foreign governments. First of all, tell me, what is the damage in your view of losing a source like that in Russia at this time? Uh, it's enormous. This guy apparently had access to the Kremlin, which is very rare. Uh, he would have been handled by the CIA on what's called a bigot list. That's maybe five, six, seven people knew his identity and his position. Um, and that's very few people. That would be the director, the deputy director, and so forth. And Russia House. So losing somebody like this, um, you know, is it, huge. It just, you know, I've never heard of a case where an agent was exfiltrated, brought out of Moscow, because the White House had the potential to expose him, or that's what the CIA thought. Uh, how would the U.S. U.S. intelligence manage to develop a source so high in, as a former senior, senior intelligence official told me, what's known as a denied area, a very difficult area for U.S. intelligence to operate in? Most of these sources are what are called walk-ins. They'll go into an embassy like in London. They'll ask for the CIA. Uh, the CIA will take them outside and meet them, uh, recruit them, and then send them back to Moscow. Uh, so it's, it's pretty much a hit or miss. The CIA in Moscow is not developing sources inside the Kremlin. It's too risky. The Russians would catch us. So losing a source like this, as I said, is an enormous loss, especially at a time when the Russians w were involved in our elections and will probably be involved in the 2020 elections. So. You know, pulling sources out of Moscow pretty much makes us blind. Yeah, as you heard there, I'm told by someone directly involved in the discussions that a factor in this decision to exfiltrate, as it's known, or extract this source from Russia uh, was the president's handling of, of classified information. As you know, this is not the first time we've heard of those concerns. I'm told, as I noted, by five uh, sources, uh, including those serving in the Trump administration, uh, who served in the Trump administration, uh, that there were broad concerns, uh, even beyond that May 2017 Oval Office meeting, the, the, the Trump-Putin meeting in Hamburg uh, in July 2017. How significant uh, of a concern is that to you? Well, look, Jim, I, the, the CIA and the FBI has never trusted Trump since he went to Moscow in 1987 a trip sponsored by the KGB. He comes back to the United States and says he's going to run for president. That's never been explained. All the Russian money that has gone through the Trump empire, that's never been explained. And I don't care what the Mueller report says. There's a lot of counterintelligence questions out there that we don't, we don't have answers for. Um, and so the CIA, when they look at the president and he spills a secret, it was a special access program to Kislyak and the foreign minister, red flags went up all over. At the very least, he doesn't understand intelligence. And I think if, in fact, the CIA protected this source, they did absolutely the right thing. Even if it was just a suspicion, they didn't know anything, they didn't know of any plans of the president to expose him. They did exactly the right thing. What you do is you protect your assets, mm -hmm. your sources, especially in a denied area, bring them to the United States, resettle them in a different name so the Russians can't assassinate them. Mm -hmm. um, this is all very predictable with this president. Bob Bear, thanks very much for your analysis. Thanks. Incredible reporting and important. Jim, thank you very, thank you. very, very much. Uh, we'll see if the administration says anything else following this.